Hello friends and how are you? My name is Jasmine. Welcome back or if you're new here, welcome here. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a snatched video. So um, normally Miranda over at Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan, Tamara the Paper and Pen Girl and Planning Day Eve, Evelyn over at Planning Day Eve, usually do snatch layouts each week. So and then I just go and kind of piggyback on them and do what they do. Um, and so this week, they um, snatch from planning Mary Ellen over at Planning with Bumble. Um, and they decided, instead of doing a normal weekly spread, they decided to snatch one of her recipe organizer videos that she has. Um, so and I'm going to link everybody down in the description box. So I am actually going to be using the new recipe keeper um or organizer whatever you want to say um it does say organizer on the front of it so that's all good of course i got my handy dandy wax paper um a couple of people have asked why do i use the wax paper where did it come from who started it i don't know where exactly it came from tamra the paper and pen girl usually uses wax paper um and so I decided to use the wax paper because it's easier to pick stickers and then use it while I'm filming my video because it's easier just to put it on there. Um, so we're gonna start with the ingredients and I'm gonna lay, I got about six boxes to put down over here on this side in ingredients and I hope it all fits because I put it on there so I can see what it was gonna look like. It kind of helps with your layout because of course you can see through it. So, but hopefully it all fits, you know. This actually, the lights are reflecting off of the shininess. It's kind of hurting my eyes just a little bit, but I'll be all right. Yeah, and I said just a little bit, you know, I got little, little kids. So sometimes, you know, you forget who you're talking to. So let's put it over here okay and so i think the one that they had snatched was hers that came out of color story and um but i decided that i didn't want to do the one out of color story because the recipe that i'm doing is a slow cooker chicken tater tot casserole and i just felt as though that those are pretty stickers and that doesn't really go with chicken tater tot casserole you know like when i see like pretty floral stickers pretty colors i mean correct me if i'm wrong do you not think about dessert i mean because i do i think about dessert okay and down here in the bottom i'm gonna put because i was kind of trying to mimic out of this book here what was left off so difficulty difficulty and difficulty so i was going to put this down here and write difficulty right there and then also i was trying to mimic serve with so what are we serving this with chicken tater tot casserole goes with what so actually I'm gonna put it down here just in case I need more space for my hexagons. Okay, so anyway, back to what I was saying. So she has several different recipe keeping things. And so I decided to use the one where she used, um, there's two that she had. So she has a whole playlist. If you want to go check out that playlist, and you can see where she used the hexagons from the journaling. And I just decided to use those two because they just actually look a whole lot better than if I was to do like, again, it, it's based on what my recipe is. My recipe is chicken, I mean, slow cooker, chicken tater tot casserole. So again, like the hexagons just, you know they just felt better than having to use um like the circles or the hearts that are in there so if you have this then you know what i'm talking if you have the book you know what i'm talking about so like certain things just fit well and i just felt like the hexagons would do do well so i went with that and so hopefully these will all fit 
it looks like they will. I'm kind of kind of putting together several of the instructions. So they're not all Yeah, okay. All right. And putting it right there. Yeah. Fabulous, fabulous. So I'll probably go like that. Here to here to here to here. It's maybe, I guess. Okay. So let's go ahead and write in some of this stuff. So I got my notes right here. I'm going to put those off to the side because those aren't very pretty to look at. So we have three to four. Three to four chicken breast and you know sometimes they come in a pack and I usually get the ones that are fresh three to four I just put regular old breast we want chicken breast okay so we want three to four and I'll just write it down here chicken breast Okay, and then one half cups of Colby Jack. And also, fun fact, I also do have this recipe already made on my channel. So if you want to go down to my, um, my earlier videos, I think I have a playlist called Mom Life, and it's down in there. One and a half cups. And you can actually see how I prepare it and... Um, Take a look at it. It's actually really good. One half cups Colby Jack cheese. Colby Jack cheese. I kind of feel like I should have wrote with a different pen instead of black. Um, let's see. So I usually just get the crumbled bacon, like whatever's in the pack. So that's what I'm going to put down. But if you are cooking the bacon... It is a half a pack of bacon cooked and crumbled. So I'm gonna put crumbled bacon because I know what that is. 16 ounce bag of tater tots. Okay, 16 ounce bag of tater tots. This pen is the Paper Mate Ink Joy 0.5. Can you see that? I have a glare, I have a glare. There we go. Is that good? Maybe. Okay. Let's bring this down a little bit. Let's 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 go in. All right. So let's get you where you can see a little bit better. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I didn't know y'all couldn't see like that. Somebody scream at me. Okay. So one and a half cups of milk. One and a half cup milk. And I use almond milk. So if you are, you can use. Um, you know, the vegan cheese or the milk. I, I do eat the dairy cheese, but I don't like the dairy milk. So, you know, I'm weird like that. And then the last few things that I use is salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Okay, so the prep time is, um, you, I think it's about five minutes. That's how long it usually takes me because it's, it's pretty easy. Five minutes for me and the cook time is three to four hours because it's in the crock pot. And it has served about six people before. And so, you know what? I think I'm going to put a number there. So, six people. Let me get my numbers. What will fit there? Let's see. Do we need a silver number? Let's put a black number over there because, um, let's see if this is too big or not. Nope. Fabulous. Woo! All right. So, serves six 
people. But I guess if you're eating, you know, kind of greedily, then it probably won't serve six people. And to grab something. So now we are in business. Okay, we are cooking. All right, so we have, we're gonna use a yellow dot. Give this spread a little bit of color. Okay, so then we want to spray the crock pot with non-stick oil. So spray with non-stick oil. And that can be oil of your choice, whatever you use, okay? Vegetable oil, olive oil, whatever. All right, and then use a the blue. Then we want to layer tater tots at bottom. Okay, we want to layer the tater tots at the bottom. So let's get a green. Actually, we want to do this color. First. All right. And then top with half of the cheese. Top with half cheese. And then a third of bacon. Okay, one third of bacon. All right. And then we're going to roll over to this block here. And let's start with yellow at the top again. We want to put all four chicken breasts, you know, how many ever you have. We'll put all chicken breasts, all chicken, um, all chicken on top. Okay. Then we want to top with our seasonings. Let's see, top with all seasonings. This yellow keeps bouncing around everywhere. Um, top with all seasonings, add half cup um, cheese and then again with the third of bacon and then one third of bacon again all right let's see here <laughs> Okay, so I was getting ready to severely mess up because I thought I had everything down and was accounted for, but then I didn't. And see, now I'm still having, see, I severely prepped for this. Maybe I over prepped and that's why I'm forgetting things. But I lost one of my dots, so now I gotta get one back. I think it was the yellow one. Okay, so we're back in business with the dot. Okay, geez. All right, folks, let's go ahead and let's continue. Okay, so where were we? We're down here in this block here for the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we finished off with one third of bacon. So now we want to add, I could just went on here and put that down. Let's see, we need another dot here. And then this is top with rest of tater tots. We'll say remaining tater tots. Remaining 
tater tots. All right, and then we have the remaining cheese. So we'll put remaining cheese. Add remaining cheese. And then we want remaining bacon. Remaining bacon. And then add the half of cup of milk. Half cup of milk. Okay, so I'm liking the way it looks. I'm gonna pull it back so that way y'all can see the whole thing too. Okay, and then this last little block right here, well, in this hexagon, we're gonna put cover and cook. Cover, because that's important. So we wanna put cover. Um, and cook. Four hours. And then dinner is served. Okay, so I love my little explanation, exclamation mark, smiley faces. So if y'all haven't already seen that, yes, that is like my signature. I love it. All right, so let's back y'all up so we can see this whole page. So that is how it is coming together. I really like it, that little bit of pop of color that I added there. Um, so now I want to go in and add my little arrows. So that way we know how we're supposed to be cooking this. And of course the arrows are coming out of, so we wanna go here to here, all right? And then we want to go here to here. So I'm just gonna see if this is gonna work. It might not because this is such a small space. So I kinda need it, to, let me see this other one. This other one is upside down. No, still no, okay. Oh, we'll just use this. We will just use a plain old arrow that does this right there. So we're going here to here to here and then down here. So we can use this one. Will that one work? No, it's still wanting to go. Not that way. It's not wanting to go that way. So I guess we'll have to use this one again. There we go. So I kind of should just take this one off so we can have some uniformity. Let's be uniform. And we will add This one here, fabulous. All right, so I like the way that looks, so that looks good. And then, I don't know, my, my hand is having a fit here. It's itching and it usually doesn't. All right, so here's my picture. Let's see, it looks better this way. So here we have some tater tots, bacon, cheese, chicken, and I printed this, uh, this off several different times and once i had i did it way too many times and i just quit and i said you know what i'm just gonna have to make it work because <laughs> it wasn't working for me just want to make sure i have enough of that on there i think that's the way that i wanted it yeah and i'm gonna put it right down here try to cover up the note section all right 
coming together. It's coming together. There's something up underneath there, but I'm just going to leave it alone because sometimes this tape right here, I don't have the one that's supposed to be permanent. I don't have the one that is supposed to be where you can lift it off. So we're just going to leave it right where it is. Um, so there's my little picture. And then I need to do another box because the boxes that I had down there was covering up where the picture was going to need to be. So let me add these boxes back down. So I need it one. So we're going to serve it. And this is, we're serving this with some veggies. We are serving this with veggies. Serve, because we got lots of starch, some protein. Serve with veggies and I'm just gonna put veggies because it's my little recipe and then this one what was I gonna put down for this one? Oh, difficulty so for me the difficulty on this is actually I'm not I'm gonna rate it so I give this rating We were doing the rating so we were giving it five yellow hearts because that's how delicious it is okay it's good there's this one and there's about two other recipes that i'm making the crock pot that are banging i'm telling y'all it's delicious i'm gonna have to add an, another little recipe i'm gonna have to my i might I'm trying to, I'm talking and thinking at the same time. So I might have to add my other little stuff that I do. So we might be doing some recipe keeping. Maybe, maybe. So I have cauliflower. So I'm going to add that down here for veggies. So we got our little cauliflower down there because we want to have some veggies. Since it's chicken tater tot. So I think I'm going to put the chicken right here. And then I found some bacon. So we're going to put bacon right here. I'm going to take this family dinner sticker. All of these stickers came out of Essential Planning. I'm going to take this crock pot and I'm going to put it up here. Love it. Love it. Let's get in frame. Let's get in frame. Are we there? Yes. And we have some forks and knives, some more of those. So we'll just take these and put them over here. So we'll add one here. That's cute. And y'all, I am like super excited about this. I don't even know why, but it has got me so excited. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Okay, and I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay. Because guess what? We are ready to eat. All right. I'm finally finished and I am loving it. I feel like it is so cute. Um, thank you, Mary Ellen, for your inspiration. Thank you to um, Miranda, Tamara, and Evelyn for suggesting this because this was a great idea. Although I got a little flustered, um, I really had a good time with this and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. I hope that you give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. So that way you won't ever miss another video with me. And I always use a double negative when I say that, but it is okay. And I will see you in the next one.